Here are the 10 most insane looking animals ever. Number 10, the maned wolf. The maned wolf is a type of canid and the largest in South America. It's the only species in its genus, Chrysocyon. I think that's how it's pronounced, meaning golden dog. Although it is called a maned wolf and looks a lot like a regular fox, what truly sets them apart from most other canids or dog, fox, and wolf-like animals is its extra tall legs and thin build. It's commonly believed that they got their tall legs through evolutionary adaptation to their usual habitat of tall, grassy, and open areas. Evolution most definitely hooked these guys up with some pretty useful hardware. Must be nature's way of throwing them an anthropological bone, so to speak. On the weirder side of things, the maned wolf is also known to some as the skunk wolf because of its distinct odor and its territory markings. Even more crazy than that is that they use their urine to communicate to each other about things such as hunting pads and buried prey. The kicker is that their urine smells strikingly similar to marijuana, or weed, you know what I mean. It contains a substance called pyrazine, which is also found in marijuana. Looks like I just found a new excuse next time my girl busts me for smelling like reefer. Fun fact, once at the Rotterdam Zoo in the Netherlands, police were sent on a hunt for pot smokers due to the lingering odor of maned fox urine. Number nine, the Watusi bull. The ankle Watusi, AKA the Watusi bull, are a breed of cattle originally native to Africa, which are known for their massively large horns, which can reach up to 12 feet from one tip to the other. So if you ever see one up close, it should be extremely clear right away that these aren't your average farmhouse cows. These dudes mean business, and they've got the horns to prove it. The Watusi, of course, use their gigantic horns as a means of defense. However, they are known for spending most of their days sleeping and grazing with their herd. So in this case, it's probably wise to heed the old saying, because if you mess with the bull, you definitely will get the horns. Also, although their horns are massive in size, they are relatively lightweight due to the fact that they contain a vast array of blood vessel honeycombs which aid in cooling down their body temperatures. So, if you happen to be a poacher, you've just been handed a whole list of reasons to rethink hunting these bulls. Oh, and also, if you're a poacher, you can go f yourself. Number 8. Tufted Deer the tufted deer are a species of otherwise normal looking deer. However, what sets them apart from usual deer is the fact that the males have a set of fang-like canines that make them look like a vampire deer. Nice one, evolution. Way to put terrifying vampire fangs on the least threatening animal ever. Other than the protruding canines, or fangs, in males which can grow to about one inch long, they also seem to behave a lot like vampires as well. They very rarely leave their home range and tend to be uncomfortable around humans. Although they are still just a species of rather insignificant deer, I'm sure I don't stand alone when I say that no matter what, they're still a lot cooler and less wimpy than any of the Twilight vampires. Number 7. Dugong I like to call this next listing the Deep Sea Hippopotamus for obvious reasons. But the Dugong is actually not quite a hippo but rather a medium-sized marine animal whose species is very closely related to the manatee. In fact, it's one of the four living species of the order Serenia, also known as sea cows. Sea cows, huh? Now I'm starting to wonder what a dugong steak would taste like, because if it tastes anything like it looks, I'm definitely not interested. With such an awkward and clunky look to them, it's no surprise that the dugong are actually more closely related to elephants than to actual marine mammals such as whales and dolphins. Sea cows? Hippos? Manatees? Seems like this thing needs to friggin' decide what the hell it is exactly. The largest dugong ever recorded weighed in at 2,240 pounds. That means its brain only came in at around 2 pounds because the average dugong brain weighs about 0.1% of its body weight. The average human brain weighs about 2% of a person's body weight. That's 20 times more than the dugong's relative brain size. The dugong doesn't need a big brain to hunt prey because the dugong is the only entirely marine mammal to feed exclusively on plants. Plants can't run, so all it needs is to be smart enough to identify a plant that's good enough. 
Like every other animal these days, it's listed as vulnerable. Number 6. Bergamasco Shepherd The Bergamasco Shepherd is a breed of dog whose origins can be traced back to the Italian Alps. They're more commonly described as dogs with dreadlocks, or dread dogs if you want to be cheeky about it. The Bergamasco Shepherd is covered with an abundant coat that gets matted easily, which is what gives them their unique dreaded look. The coat forms flocks or loose mats, which cover the dog's body and legs to protect it from weather and predators. Personally, I just think they remind me of those giant drapes that brush up against your car when you're at the drive through car wash. Believe it or not, the Bergamasco was originally used as a herding dog. Imagine that. A dog that looks like a carpet running around herding a bunch of sheep that look like pillows. Number 5. Opabinia The Opabinia is a now extinct arthropod that was mostly found in British Columbia, Canada. The Opabinia was one weird animal. It had 30 legs, 30 flippers, a nose like an elephant's trunk, and a lobster-like claw. It sounds like the product of a mad scientist that's obsessed with crossbreeding. The Opabinia was believed to have lived deep down on the sea floor and used its elephant-like nose to seek out its food. Sounds a lot like an ex-girlfriend of mine. Scientists believe the first ever Opabinia was the result of an orgy involving a scorpion, a dolphin, an elephant, and a lobster. And by scientists, I meant me and my friends. Number 4. Helicoprion I'm going to be mixing in some extinct animals as well today. All of these can't be left out of the most insane animals ever list. The Helicoprion is just plain scary and bizarre. This swimming chainsaw even appeared in two episodes of Shark Week and scared the hell out of everyone. The Helicoprion is essentially an extinct class of shark whose fossil records show a spiral-shaped lower jaw called a tooth whirl. This awkward-looking shark looks like it could have been used as a makeshift table saw in the Flintstones episode. Very few fossils of this animal have been found, however, and very little is known about it, but its looks alone warrant a spot on our list. Number 3. Lyoplerodon It's not really within my moral principles to say that I'm glad an animal is extinct, but I sure as hell am glad I don't have to worry about this animal when taking a nice relaxing dip in the ocean. The Lyoplerodon is a genus of carnivorous marine reptile that was alive during the Jurassic period. Even as a dinosaur, this bad boy was one sea creature that you needed to stay the hell away from. The Lyoplerodon was the apex predator of the middle to late Jurassic seas in Europe, which meant that it was literally at the top of the food chain. Just be glad that you weren't a fish in the Jurassic period, because the seas were definitely not a safe place for basically any creature back then. Number 2. Megalodon Shark Now it's time for what seems to be every Jaws fan's favorite aquatic beast, the Megalodon Shark. The Megalodon is a now extinct shark whose fossils date to around 15.9 million years old. So just be thankful that they aren't around anymore because just one single tooth on these deep sea killers measures in at 7.1 inches. This makes their teeth the largest of any known shark species in history. So if I can freak you out by describing the measurements of a single tooth, you may piss your pants when you hear about the rest. The Megalodon was the single largest predatory marine animal in the history of the planet. Scientific studies based on jaw and tooth fossils state that they typically grew to around 60 feet long and weighed up to 100 tons. These guys could easily swallow you whole if they wanted to, but to be honest, you would actually be considered lucky if they did, because get this, the great white shark is capable of clamping its jaw shut with 1.8 tons of force. Now the Megalodon on the other hand, was able to do so with 10.8 to 18.2 tons of force. That's more than enough force to crush the skull of an entire whale. Which sure enough, as an apex predator, they were known for doing. Number 1. Long-Nosed Monkey Rounding out our list at number 1 is the Long-Nosed Monkey. This comically long-nosed monkey, aka the d*** on my face monkey, it's pretty much an R-rated monkey, at least as far as looks go, that can commonly be found in Indonesia. Quite appropriately, sexual dimorphism is very pronounced amongst this particular species. That basically means that the males and females 
tend to look drastically different because of the biological makeup of their bodies. In fact, the females generally tend to be roughly 10 centimeters smaller than the males and about half their weight. Not to mention the fact that the females don't have giant d**ks on their face. Uh, well, I mean, they don't have them attached to their faces, I should say. Here's a fun, slightly racist fact. These ridiculous evolutionary blunders also go by Monyet Belanda, which is the Malay term for Dutch monkey. Since the Indonesians thought that the Dutch colonizers had large bellies and noses. Check out these next videos.